Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see an example of approximate estimate by plinth area method. But this time the type of question is quite twisted. They have not directly given the area but they have given different rooms and their sizes. First we have to calculate the area, then we have to go for the estimate. So let's see the problem statement first. <music> See the problem statement st says prepare approximate estimate for small residential building using plinth area rate of 15,000 square meter means it is per square meter. So let's see how you can calculate or how you can solve this numerical. First the drawing hall size is given as 3.6 by 5 meter and the number of drawing halls are 1. Then the bedroom size is 2.7 by 5.5 meter and the number of rooms are 1 again then the kitchen size is 2.7 meter by 5.5 meter and number of kitchens are also 1 and there are 2 toilet blocks of 2.8 meter by 3 meter so what we have to do first we have to calculate the areas of these rooms and area is nothing but length into width for example if you want to find out the area of drawing hall it will be 3.6 meter by 5 meter and if you want to similarly find out the area of bedroom, it will be 2.7 into 5.5 meter. So what I will do, I will calculate total carpet area. So it will be 3.6 into 5 into 1. That is the carpet area of drawing hall. Why I have taken here is 1 because the number of drawing halls are 1. Similarly, for bedroom, the size is 2.7 by 5.5 and number are 1. So I have taken 2.7 into 5.5 into 1. Then kitchen. The size of kitchen is 2.7 by 5.5 and the number of kitchen are also 1. Therefore, I have taken as 2.7 by 5.5 by 1. Then the toilet blocks. Here the toilet blocks are 2. Therefore, I have taken 2.8 by 3 by 2. So, which comes as 64.50 meter square. This is the total carpet area of all the rooms including the toilet block. But this is just the total carpet area and the rate given here is for plinth area rate. So, what I will do? I will add extra 20% for area under the wall because they are just the carpet areas, the wall areas are not given. So what I will do, I will add 20% extra for the walls area. So the total plinth area will be this 64.50 meter square that is nothing but the total carpet area multiplied by 1.20. Why I have taken here 1.20? Because I have to increase this area by 20%. Therefore, I will be multiplying this value by 1.20 which comes as 77.40 meter square. Now we have calculated the plinth area. Now the last step is to calculate the approximate estimate and it will be nothing but this area multiply rate per meter square. Area we have calculated it is 77.40 meter square and rate per meter square is given in the numerical. It is 15,000 per square meter. So what I will do? I will multiply this 77.40 by 15,000 which comes as 11 lakh 61 thousand rupees so this is the total approximate cost of the building residential building by plinth area method in which different room sizes were given thank you